come to my kitchen again this week for What's Cooking Coco. So what is Coco cooking this week? Well, this week I'm going to be making the Mapendan Classic Meatloaf, okay? So I know a lot of people are very iffy with meatloaf. You've tried it, sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's not that great. But I'm gonna show you how I make my meatloaf. I've been making it for more than 10 years. I've had family and friends that actually love this meatloaf. So it was a request and we're gonna do it today. Trust the process when I say meatloaf is not all that bad. You're gonna need some ground beef, okay? We're gonna do, this is about a pound and a half of ground beef and some ground chicken, okay? One pound of ground chicken. Um, you can do 80-20, you can do 80-15, depending on how much fat you want. You don't want too much fat because it does get a little greasy, but that's okay because that's exactly what we want to make this meatloaf juicy and yummy. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna need some bread. If you have loaves of bread at home, it doesn't matter what kind of bread you have, just two pieces of bread or one, doesn't matter. But this is an important process. We're just gonna go ahead and, and um, cut up, you know, just pinch off our bread and get it into small pieces, okay? And just like that, okay? Instead of using breadcrumbs, this is a better way, trust me. Like I said, trust the process, okay? We want it just like that, right? Okay, now with our bread, we're going to need some milk. Okay, if you cannot have dairy, don't do milk. You can do almond milk if you'd like. So we're just gonna put about a third of a cup of milk and we're just doing this so that way we can mush up our bread, okay? Let me get a fork here. And let's get that. And so while that is like that, we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit, okay? We gotta mush it and just let it sit. Okay, so just mush it up and let it sit probably for about maybe a minute or two. That's all we need. We don't need it to sit that long, okay? While we let the bread and the milk settle, we're gonna need about a half an onion and it needs to be finely chopped and garlic. I would say about three cloves of garlic and we're just gonna cook this down a little bit, okay? So we're just gonna grab a little bit of oil here. It would help if I turn that on, I guess. Let's do a little bit of oil, okay? And it doesn't matter if it's not hot yet. It's okay, just dump it all in there. We're going to cook it down until everything is translucent, okay? Just like that. Okay, while that is cooking, our onion and our garlic on the stove, we're gonna put the rest of the ingredients together, okay? So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some corn. Trust me. Like I said, trust the process. This is some yummy meatloaf. We're just gonna dump about, if you don't have fresh corn, I had fresh corn and I cut it up, um, you can use a can of corn. Whatever you have, that's totally fine. So use about a can of corn, no liquid at all whatsoever, okay? And then we're gonna use some good old salt, all right? And I'm gonna say, you're gonna need a good portion of salt. So let's say about maybe two tablespoons of salt, okay? And with the salt, then we're gonna use some pepper, okay? There we go, okay? And now that that is good, okay, then we're gonna go ahead and we like to put heat in ours. Um, it just brings a whole nother level of yumminess. So we're just gonna put some red pepper flakes in there, okay? Not too much, I don't wanna scare the kids, so yeah. And then the ingredient. Okay, my husband is Filipino, if y'all don't know that. And so Filipinos love their sugar. And I happen to love brown sugar as well in some of the dishes that we cook. So you're gonna need some brown sugar, okay? We're gonna put some brown sugar in there. And that's about, I wanna say about a third cup of brown sugar, okay? And then we're gonna take our egg gonna need two eggs here, just like that, two eggs, and we're going to go ahead and blend that all together, okay? The reason why I am doing it this way is because with our meat, we don't wanna over mix it, because if you over mix your meat, 
it will get tough and we don't want our meat to get tough. We want it to be nice and moist. All right, so just like that. Oh my gosh, it already smells so good in this kitchen. If you don't wanna use brown sugar, you don't have to. You can do honey. You can do whatever type of sugar you want, um, however you want. Now our onion and our garlic is just the way that I want it. Some, there's a little bit of burnt pieces in there, but that's okay because it's just gonna taste good. So you're gonna let that sit for a while because we don't wanna add it to our mixture yet because it's hot. So let it sit for about five minutes and put it to the side until it cools down. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get it all in the bowl and mix it up together. Let's get our ground beef in there and then our ground chicken. And the reason why I chose to do both of those is because the ground beef that I have is an 80-20, meaning that 80% of it is fat. I mean, 80% of it is lean and 20% of it is fat, okay? So we're gonna do that and add that and mix it together. And then um, let's take our onion, okay? And our garlic, and we're gonna put that right on top. Now that we have mixed everything together, you're going to need a loaf pan. If you have a loaf pan, this is what we're gonna be cooking it in, put it in a loaf pan. If you do not have a loaf pan and you just have like a sheet pan, use some foil to make yourself a loaf pan, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my mixture in here just like that. And I'm so excited because it's been a while since we had meatloaf and my kids, I'm telling you, they absolutely love this meatloaf. And so does my husband. Okay, just like that. And get it all the way in there. Pack it in there, okay? All right, so now that it's nicely packed in there, just like that, it's gonna look just like this, okay? I already have my oven already preheated at 350 degrees. You're gonna put this in your oven at 350 degrees for about 50 minutes, okay? Halfway through, what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and coat the top with some ketchup, okay? Just simple ketchup. I am not going to put any more brown sugar on the topping because our brown sugar is inside the meatloaf. So let's go ahead and put that in the oven. All right, so now we're at halfway point, and remember, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna lather it with some ketchup. So let's check on it. Oh, yep, that looks about beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, okay. So, whatever ketchup you have, I happen to have Heinz, you can use whatever. You can even make your own ketchup if you want. Just We're just gonna go ahead and do this and lather it with ketchup. That's all that we're gonna put. I'm not gonna do a mixture of any brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce like some other people do. Um, I'm just gonna do it just like this because remember, we have our brown sugar in the inside. Okay, just spread it around. Sprinkle a little bit more pepper on the top, okay? Just like that. Fairy dust the pepper on the top. Just like that. We're gonna stick it back in the oven, let it finish cooking for another 30 minutes. All right guys, so it looks like our meatloaf is done. After about 50 minutes in the oven, and guys, this is exactly what you want it to look like. Fully cooked and done on the inside. It has the beautiful corn in there, and when you take that first bite, it's gonna be so good. So let's taste it. Make sure that it's yummy. Let me take that first piece. Oh, this little guy didn't want to, didn't want to leave. All right. 
Mm, I'm so excited because I know this is going to be yummy. It's hot. Mmm. 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 <gasps> it's so moist, guys. It is not dry. It's so yummy. I really hope that you guys try to make this this week. And that's exactly what's cooking in Coco's Kitchen. See you guys next time. Bye. Mm. Mm. Mm.